art critic Jerry Saltz, doubting that Da Vinci painted it. And he's joining me now from New York. Jerry, great to have you on. Great to be on. So what do you think? I think it's a real flim flam. I think that if you really look at this painting, Leonardo never painted anyone remotely like this, never anybody looking dead on, never anybody, never a surface this dull, inert, a mess. And the, Christie's claims there's a consensus claiming that it might be real. Actually, it's 12 people. And the foremost da Vinci expert in the world thinks, on the contrary, that this is not remotely like a da Vinci. One of the biggest issues you have, and as we look at this painting here, the fact that it's straight on and it's not uh, complex in any way, which is what da Vinci is known for, correct? Right. Think about it. He's just come off painting The Last Supper. He's two years away from painting The Mona Lisa. All of his figures turn in on themselves or point. They do all sorts of things. There's always a background. There's a lot of complicated space in his work. Christie's is really banking on this being real based on maybe two drawings that are similar to um, Jesus's sleeves. But Leonardo definitely did do drawings like this, but these were done for his students to show them how to do sleeves. He didn't paint this painting. If that's true, this would be obviously astonishing, Jerry. And uh, let me ask you about the price tag as well. More than $450 million. Well, that painting, if it's a real da Vinci, should not have been auctioned to a private buyer or anyone. If it's a da Vinci, it belongs in a museum. There are only 15 on the earth. If this is, quote, a brand new Leonardo da Vinci, they say it's, here's a quote from Christie's, as, uh, as valuable as a petrochemical plant. I mean, what does that mean? It tells you that they don't understand its value at all, either as a real painting or the only way you could sell a painting like this to somebody on the phone is if deep inside you know, and I think they know. So I'm curious how you would go about proving whether it is or is not authentic. Let's say you're the new owner and you've paid this kind of money. I mean, aren't you going to want to know? Of course, you're going to want to know. And if you read the disclaimers, the many layers in the painting uh, and the bill of sale, Christie's has themselves legally covered. But the truth is, if I bought this painting and brought it wherever, to Asia, to New York, wherever, I could build a museum, say, here's a brand new da Vinci, and it would pay for itself in three years with audiences who have really, I think we've wished this da Vinci into existence. I think it's fake art news. Mm, fake art news. Jerry Saltz joining us. He is the art critic for New York Magazine. Jerry, great to have you on. Thanks for making time for us in Canada today. Thanks, Todd.